So Aralase has created this concept, 650 microsecond 1064 technology, okay? Getting enough fluids within a very short pulse duration. If we do that, then we get rid of some of the, the concerns of how are we gonna be able to, are we gonna have a lot of pain, are we gonna have a little discomfort, are we gonna have a big risk of PIH? Those things can be eliminated if we can limit the pulse duration and shorten the pulse duration, and that's sort of what, what, what's gone on. So we get rapid heating of the target vessels, um, we can leverage the power, the depth, and the hemoglobin, but avoid collateral damage. And it's that collateral damage, the thermal damage that you get around the vessels and everything that causes the problems, the increased risk of scarring, the increased com discomfort, and the risk of PIH, which again, in my world, um, is the most important world, as I spend most of my world, if I'm not in the US, I'm in Asia, so PIH is all I hear about. Does it cause PIH? What is PIH? How much? And so forth. So the LightPod Neo and, and these, these they, they're very versatile machines. Um, we can treat not only pigment, uh, vascular, but we can actually extend this into other things, pigment, acne. Where this shines, though, and I think yeah, we all have to keep in mind, this, is, this shines in the vascular world. And so, you know, for vascular lesions, this is, this is sort of, you know, one of those machines that I never tell my clinic staff really what to use, and I'm finding that every time I'm going to the office, into my lasers part of my practice, I'm hearing the sound. Um, and I'm like, what are you treating? Oh, we're using the light pod and so forth and so on. I've had this stuff for a long time, and you know, it's okay, and then, and then more and more and more as they're using it, their comfort level has gotten so high with this that you know, I, it, it works all the time. And so it's a kind of machine that we're, we're used to using that we can treat lots of different kinds of facial veins very successfully. Um, here's one of my patients that you know had some, actually more, more excoriated as well as some facial veins. Um, and you know, one treatment, boom, gone, clear. Um, and and you know, that, that takes care of it. So we have historically treated uh, things such as facial telangiectasias, angiomas, uh, with a variety of lasers and light sources. So, but typically facial telangiectasias if they're red, uh, we'll treat them with a 532 nanometer KTP laser, a uh, pulse dye laser. Uh, and we've had a lot more trouble with some of the bluer ones uh, because typically they don't respond uh, to either KTP or pulse dye lasers. But they might respond to 1064 nanometer NDAG lasers. Uh, the NDAG lasers that have been on the market for quite a long period of time uh, tend to be millisecond uh, domain systems, so putting on anywhere from 3 to perhaps 10 or 20 milliseconds. Uh, those lasers, one, tend to hurt, uh, and two, even if they can successfully treat uh, the vessels, uh, we've had a higher incidence of scarring than would be acceptable. Uh, the LightPod Neo system is a brand new, really revolutionary NDAG laser. Uh, the wavelength is 1064 nanometers, but instead of having those long millisecond pulses, it has a microsecond pulse. It's actually 0.65 milliseconds. Uh, so it's not a nanosecond pulse of a Q-switch laser, which clearly will not work on uh, any large blue vessels, but it's also not the long millisecond pulse NDAG laser, which tends to hurt and cause scarring. Uh, we recently did a study, uh, this uh, study has now been submitted for publication, in which we treated 20 subjects, uh, and we treated them with the LightPod Neo system uh, with a, as I said, 0.65 millisecond pulse for facial telangiectasia, some angiomas on the face. Uh, and the method is really a very different method. Uh, we actually use two different uh, lens sizes. Uh, the first one's a six millimeter uh, lens size. Uh, and that we're doing, uh, we call it treatment level or energy mode seven, uh, which delivers uh, uh, 24 joules per centimeter squared. And we go over the vessel a couple of times just really to heat it up a little bit. And then we hit it with really a high powered system. It's a two millimeter lens. Uh, we drop down on the treatment level. Now it's treatment level or energy mode six. And that's actually at 191 joules per centimeter squared. Uh, and we space uh, pulses on the vessel. Uh, and once we're done with the vessel, if you actually press the vessel, uh, you'll get a sense that it's coagulated. Uh, and then slowly over the next month or so, those vessels will tend to disappear. In our study, we treated people uh, twice, uh, each done a month apart. We had absolutely no complications. And because it's not a long pulse millisecond system, uh, there's really minimal to no discomfort. Uh, this is really a totally new system that's been on the market before, uh, and it's been a great adjunct to our large laser practice. And this is where I love this machine, okay? I mean, this is, this is my baby. Um, this, is where, this is where this machine should be. Every dermatologist should be knowing about this. 
So again, bad acne, okay? Um, and it works really well. Again, 1064. So here's one of my patients. And I'm using this on really bad patients. Um, so here, before and after two treatments. Now look at this one. This is six treatments and this is a year later. So did we cure her? I don't know. I, I don't know yet. We always tell people we can't cure acne with this, with anything laser-wise. Um, but look at, look at the severe acne here. I mean, and again, I'll promise you she's been on every treatment known to man, including isotretinoin. Here she is on, the, on their side. Isn't that impressive? This is actually turns on at eight o'clock in the morning and it shuts off at five o'clock in the afternoon. So, and again, I, do, I treat a lot of acne with this. And what I try to tell people, you don't have to rip, you know, you don't have to charge a lot of money for this. Um, it's just a couple hundred dollar treatment, you know, hundred, hundred and fifty dollar treatment, two hundred dollars, depending on where you are. And you do 10 of them a day. Okay, so I paid this machine off in a couple weeks. <laughs> And then it just, it's the gift that keeps going, all right? And, and again, I like that. And that's what, that's where we need to be thinking. What works, what's easy for our patients, painlessly, and so forth. So I would tell you to look at all these kind of things and go from there. So thank you. All right, so here we go. Is that hurting a lot? No. All right. So she says it doesn't hurt at all. Remember, this is type six uh, yeah, African American skin. skin. This is not something that's easy to treat, no matter what. So it's great to have a device that can that can treat acne in this. And skin so, as type. I said, this is going to impact on. You know, she's got a lot of inflammatory pustules. It's going to impact on the inflammation, the vessels. Uh, it'll have a phototoxic, photothermal effect uh, on pea acne, uh, and just improve her overall skin. And I treat not just the area where there are lesions, but the whole face. Because I'm trying to improve what she has, but I'm also trying to lessen uh, the onset of other lesions. And what I'll tend to do is go over the whole face a couple times, and then I'll go back and focus in on isolated spots. Now I'm going to hit some isolated areas, and here's where I stack a little bit. And the funny part is, I don't know if you can see it, but there's almost the perception of a little bit of smoke. Those are actually little hairs that are getting singed. So, so David, we talk about, I, I don't know if anybody's talked about pulse stacking. Pulse stacking in general is bad. Just remember that. In general, especially when you're talking about CO2 and things like that, it's bad. In certain aspects, we can use it for the benefit, and that's what David's doing here. Yeah. So well just put. understand that. And so I'm going to avoid her eyebrows because she might get hair removal there. I'll avoid her scalp. Don't worry, they're all still there. Okay. All right. And she has a little bit of a scar in her uh, left cheek. Uh, and we're going to build a little collagen below that too, so it may help that as well. Laser hair removal is an area of primary expertise and research emphasis for me, so I agreed to assess this laser by determining whether it could generate efficacy and long-term results in laser hair removal. The laser proved to be more than sufficiently powerful, reaching the desired endpoints of charred hairs and perifollicular edema. In fact, we only need to use about 15% of the peak fluence of the laser for hair removal, as the NEO can also be used to remove leg telangiectasias with fluences of over 300 joules per centimeter squared. The NEO generated hair clearance similar to other YAG lasers with no complications, even on skin type 6. Also, the results were long-term, meaning that clearance persisted for at least three to six months after the last treatment session. I think the Lipod Neo has a unique place in the field of aesthetic lasers. Now you have a YAG laser with the power and versatility that you need without the treatment pain and potential complications of some other devices, all in a laser that is exceptionally affordable.
Okay. So when I think of these technologies, um, I, I'm looking at something that, that can do a lot of different things, it's incredibly safe, it's not terribly expensive, it's portable, and this really fits the bill. Um, you know, if you think about what NDAG lasers do, they're typically millisecond systems. They do stuff and they work, but they're a little bit more dangerous to use, particularly if you have, um, uh, you know, if you have extenders doing this. This is a microsecond system, a lot easier, it doesn't need to be air-cooled, you're not going to have the same problems, uh, you don't need cooling at all, and it's portable. Well, I think the nice thing also, what I'm really excited about is the fact that you have a device now that really effectively treats acting. How many technologies have we had like that? But isolate is, is more comedonal. This is, seems more inflammatory. Mm -hmm. right? This is inflammatory. Yeah. So I think that's a nice, nice advantage there. Any pain or discomfort back there when you're, she's being treated? No. It doesn't hurt. And again, it's mind boggling. And, and, and I think one of the things that we are, the three of us especially, who have been around lasers for so many years, we used to hurt everybody. <laughs> if we didn't hurt them, they didn't get better. You know, the no pain, no, no pain, gain no concept. Pain. We don't need that now. I mean, we don't need to hurt people. Well, think about what causes pain, right? The pain is induced by the heat of the laser, and this is a shorter pulse system, so it's so, going to be less painful. And the pain is also induced by some of the cooling devices we use, and, and there's no cooling device here. Right. And also the advantage for treating all skin types. I mean, right. That's a big plus, too, with the microsecond technology. So I have a patient here who has unwanted hair on her chin and underneath the chin. We're also going to treat her underarm, so if we can just take a quick look at her underarm. So again, before the treatment, we've had her prep by removing the underarm hair and the chin on the hair and the face and cleaning the area. I call this my workhorse. When we're choosing a laser for practices, we want to find something that can do as much work for us as possible. Um, we're going to focus on hair removal, but this laser technology can also treat inflammatory lesions, lesions such as acne, pseudofolliculitis barbae. It's also being developed modalities to treat onychomycosis, and there um, are published studies on that. And it also does non-ablative laser resurfacing very safely on all skin types, including very dark skin types. So we'll start with her chin. And you see it moves very fast on the area. There is no need to overlap pulses. And remember, because there's no thermal stress on the nerve endings, there is no pain that she's feeling. How many sessions do you generally have to do with this device? It's pretty equivalent to the other laser treatments. Um, it really depends on, you know, just as with all the other laser modalities, how thick the hair is, how dark the hair is. Um, you know, anywhere from four to six treatments. Some people only need two or three, depending what settings we use. So the many uses that I use it in my office is pretty much for all of these. Here's a patient of mine that I treated and she had, um, a, as you can see, the upper um, circle area there, she had a scar and she was doing all these things trying to correct the scar, but she was aggravating the, the melanocytes. So she was getting hyperpigmentation on top of trying to correct it. And that's the one thing that's really very, um, um, important when you're telling patients and where they're treating something you don't want to aggravate something more than what you have so these are the two dark areas that she had on her face and then we did the aerolase we did four treatments and then we did chemical peel and it totally blended her skin and actually can you can see her scar actually it's better as well this is another patient of mine that we only did one aerolase treatment and we used the hydroquinone treatment with it and she is Middle Eastern. She had a lot of um, problems clearing up her melasma. And of course, she sought out um, different procedures when she heard about lasers. So it took me a while. She's been a patient way longer than I've had my system. But when I got the system, she was one of the first people that I wanted to try it on. And she did really, really well with just one treatment. So. It, it depends on the patient, it depends on the depth of their pigment, 
definitely I try to assess if it's epidermal or dermal um, influence that I'm seeing that I need to treat, but she tended to do well. Another patient with very stubborn melasma, and as you can see, even the lentigos get better. So overall, when we do kind of a, a laser painting procedure or resurfacing procedure, people have improvement with the lentigos and the discoloration and the sunspots on their skin. This is a patient of mine that we did laser hair removal. This is a patient who was more concerned with the ingrown hairs and the discoloration that it left, more so with the hair, but a lot of patients have to understand that it's the hair that's creating this. Once we get the hair, the coarseness of the hair down, because it kind of goes through a phase in where it's really coarse and then it starts to taper out and get a little bit more fine, you see that there's a less, less of a issue with the pseudofolliculitis that she's getting, and she's also decreasing hair. So you can tell by the number of, of um, pustules that she has there that it's starting to get under control after two sessions. And this is another patient with acne clearance. And as you can see, because of the wavelength of the, the um, ND YAG, you have a lot of patients who come in who are more concerned about the discoloration than the actual condition that they have. You can actually kill two birds with one stone. You can treat the discoloration that bothers them, but also address what's actually causing the discoloration. So in summary, the um, LightPod Neo is a 1064. It's suitable for skin of color. It's very portable. The patient comfort, and I've had it myself, is hardly nil. You don't have to pre-numb the patient with a topical anesthetic. There's no um, skin contact, so you don't have to use any gels with it, any coolant agents. Um, pretty much there's, it, there are no disposables that you have to keep purchasing. And so overall, it is my, definitely my laser that I go to and travel with. Today on an all new The Doctors, it claims to get rid of raccoon eyes instantly. We put it to the test. This is Dr. Jason Emmer, and I'm with my patient who has some dark circles and under eye bags that he just doesn't like. I've struggled with this. I've tried creams, I've tried, you know, different concealers and everything, and it just doesn't go away. People always think I've got to do a fight, but it's nothing, so I don't know what to do. Well, normally in the past, it was all surgery that was the only option, but luckily now we have a lot of non-invasive treatments. The first part is using some fillers to fill some of the hollows there, volume. And lastly, if you lay back, I'm gonna put a little goggle on you. And this also prevents bruising, which is great, is using that microsecond YAG laser, the LightPod Neo. It's sort of the newest technology in tightening the skin and improving the color of the skin. You don't even need any numbing. It has literally no pain. You're gonna feel a little bit of heat, so keep your eyes closed. And we're gonna just literally start to heat that area. And what that will do is stimulate blood supply to remove some of that pigmentation and get rid of some of those blue blood vessels as well as prevent any bruising from all the injections. You'll look great. Take a look at yourself and see what you think. Oh, wow. I do see, I do see a big difference. Yeah, it's great. Let's do the other side. All right. <laughs>